As Sea of Thieves, The Legend of Monkey Island takes the community by storm, tons more information has been revealed. Alright, so Sea of Thieves have released two articles, one on the official Sea of Thieves website and one on the official Xbox Wire page. If you haven't seen the trailer yet, I'll link it in the top right now. Go watch it, go just work out what the hell's happening, then come back so you can see all the details. Alright, let's kick off with the Sea of Thieves one. Sea of Thieves fans hoping for a glimpse at what's coming their way over the next few months were in for a treat at this year's Xbox Game Showcase held on June 11th. Last year, the same event saw the wraps come off of Season 7's packed captaincy feature set, while back in 2021, our showcase included the reveal of Sea of Thieves of Pirate's Life. It's a high standard of announcement to measure up to, but we hope you'll be pleased with what we've unveiled for 2023. After expressing our team's fondness for the Monkey Island franchise via easter eggs left for players to find in Sea of Thieves of Pirates Life, the integration is finally coming your way. We've worked closely with Lucas Games to bring Monkey Island to life, resulting in an experience that's expansive, exciting and entertaining. Over the course of three brand new tall tales, you'll be invited to tour and explore the beloved locations beginning with Melee Island, and interact with iconic characters including Guybrush Threepwood himself. Throughout The Legend of Monkey Island, you'll solve puzzles, tussle with adversaries and tackle unexpected trials as you strive to put righteous situations that have gone bizarrely wrong and confront a looming peril born of the powers from both worlds. Players can expect to learn more about how these places are connected through an experience underscored by a rich seam of comedy. But right now we want to leave as much as possible to be discovered as you go, whether this is your dream crossover as a long term fan or fated to be your first foray onto the shores of Monkey Island, we hope you'll find the love that's gone into this collaboration and find plenty to love in return. The Legend of Monkey Island is coming free to all Sea of Thieves players, beginning with the first of three new tall tales on July 20th. Bring your wits, your finest hat and a talking skull and we'll see you mighty pirates there. First of three. That's concerning, but they explain more on the Xbox Wire article. Monkey Island comes to the Sea of Thieves, the exclusive interview. Pirate legends prepare to meet the mighty pirate when the world of Monkey Island comes to Sea of Thieves, in collaboration with Lucasfilm Games as a three-part Tall Tale expansion. Announced in today's Xbox Game Showcase, The Legend of Monkey Island will be released in monthly installments, starting July 20th, telling a brand new tale featuring characters and voice actors from the Monkey Island series. Your adventures will have you meet Guybrush Threepwood, his beloved Elaine, and the dreaded ghost captain LeChuck, Murray, the demonic talking skull, and many more iconic characters. You'll get to freely visit explorable versions of both Melee Island and Monkey Island, solving puzzles in a point and click style adapted for Sea of Thieves first person view. And it will all take place in the Sea of the Damned, so you'll have no interruptions from other players as you relive the iconic series in a brand new way. Okay. Monthly installments. It was already a low number, but monthly installments, I get that increases the longevity because people just won't go and complete it all in a week. But it is still a little concerning. Will it hold people's interest? It's, it is only three. Then in the Sea of the Damned, yeah, I guess this is a this is the only way they could have really done it because they obviously can't expand outward. But it looks like we won't be able to explore this outside of Tall Tales. It is not a permanent thing in game that you can go and do voyages on it is just almost like a bride like the parts of the caribbean stuff in the sea of the damned this is exactly the same built in collaboration with lucasfilm games the three tall tales making up the legend of monkey island all of which will arrive for free will bring swashbuckling sea of thieves adventures presenting an authentic story with a single hypothetical question at its heart what if guybrush and co arrived on the sea of thieves while today's trailer teased some of what's to come, I was able to chat with Sea of Thieves creative director Mike Chapman for an all-encompassing discussion about what we saw in today's trailer and more. Here's our exclusive interview. First things first, there was a big Monkey Island easter egg in A Pirate's Life, your last crossover with Pirates of the Caribbean. Were you already planning this expansion back then? The idea of what could a potential story be if Guybrush and Elaine found their way into the Sea of Thieves, that was something we thought about during the development of A Pirate's Life. It felt like that was a really interesting idea to get players guessing. Would they actually go tell a Monkey Island story? So that did inspire the side quest that takes place in A Pirate's Life. Let's explore a little sliver of what point-and-click gameplay could feel like in Sea of Thieves. 
You use some items. There's some nested solutions that you need to discover. We were definitely inspired by what a Monkey Island experience could look like in Sea of Thieves. So, after Pirates of the Caribbean, I think the next franchise that felt like this is the next dream come true, this is the next one where it feels like it was always meant to be, was Monkey Island. Tell us more about that. Why did that collaboration feel so irresistible? Probably one of the most exciting aspects of this opportunity is to tell an original story in a world that we are such fans of. There have been so many times during the development on Sea of Thieves where we've been inspired by the Monkey Island humour, the tone, and the sense of whimsy in Sea of Thieves. But there's also the extra magic quality of being able to take a game experience that's traditionally enjoyed as a point-and-click adventure and bring it into the Sea of Thieves world, where it's fully immersive. You get to really feel like you inhabit those spaces, look all of those characters in the eye, and go on this new adventure that allows you to see the Sea of Thieves world from a new perspective, alongside Guybrush and other beloved Monkey Island characters. This is a story told over three tales, and we wanted to do the Monkey Island gameplay justice by including our take on in-depth dialogue with the characters, and really encouraging players to navigate the world's environment, with its iconic puzzle gameplay, really capturing that essence in each tall tale. It's another one of those incredible moments that Sea of Thieves has led us to, where we get to go play in a world that we all love so dearly. I can't believe all these years later, from playing Monkey Island growing up, that we got to pitch an original Monkey Island story and have it take place in the Sea of Thieves. It's a dream come true. And that title, The Legend of Monkey Island, is rifing on the main series titles. Can you talk more about where it falls in on the timeline? The double meaning of the legend in The Legend of Monkey Island refers to Guybrush's past stories and the adventure you will go on in this new tall tale in Sea of Thieves. One of the things we thought was absolutely key that we tap into were the themes and core DNA of what makes Monkey Island. Monkey Island. And what makes Sea of Thieves, Sea of Thieves. Weaving them together at a deep thematic level, beyond just the pirate thing. We wanted to pull from the most beloved elements of the franchises, whilst also trying to pick a time period where an untold story could be unveiled. The story takes place when Guybrush gets to marry the love of his life, Elaine. At the end of the third game, The Curse of Monkey Island, Guybrush sails off to the horizon on a galleon with Just Married on the back, and they go off to presumably have their honeymoon. It's a really interesting entry point for our story. What if Guybrush and Elaine had their honeymoon in the Sea of Thieves? What if they had been invited to the Sea of Thieves to have this ultimate pirate honeymoon? And that's where our story picks up. A key element here must have been location. In A Pirate's Life, you gave players an explorable version of the original parts of the Caribbean Disney attraction. But by transforming Melee Island and Monkey Island into Sea of Thieves locations, with a familiar look and first-person perspective, it feels like you're taking that even further. You've hit the nail on the head there. Going into The Legend of Monkey Island, it felt like the entire experience is really pulling on that feeling, art style and overall aesthetic, especially because of how iconic the Scum Bar, the Clock Tower, the Monkey Head on Monkey Island and other locations are. So those classic locations are fully explorable? They are. In The Legend of Monkey Island, the gameplay is about being in those spaces and feeling like you can explore at your own pace. You can speak to characters and start to understand what puzzles are going to be as they slowly unfold in front of your eyes. So the core feeling of this and what it feels like to interact with characters feels very unique compared to what we've done before. We wanted these tales to celebrate these locations, not just use them as backdrops. You really feel like you've spent time there and interacted with not only the bits that you remember from the classic canon games, but also seen new areas that you may have imagined when you played the games for the first time. That is all really exciting. I cannot wait to see how well they execute these, because every time they've done Tall Tales, they've got better and better at them. Shores of Gold, to the Ashen Age, to A Pirate's Life, I'm sure these are going to be fantastic. In the grand scheme of gaming, Monkey Island is a classic series, and Sea of Thieves is a very current game. Did you think about how this crossover might introduce new players to Monkey Island for the first time? That's probably one of the things we considered when the idea of doing something with Monkey Island was conceived. The Monkey Island franchise feels like it's gaming royalty. If you haven't played it, it feels like it should be on your playlist. It's like very famous movies, you know? It feels like you're missing out if you haven't seen them. The opportunity to give players the first window into that world if they haven't played it before is something we took very seriously. If players in Sea of Thieves experience the Monkey Island world for the first time, I would like nothing more than for those players to go check out that incredible series, including the latest entry in the franchise, Return to Monkey Island. 
With the work that we're doing on Legend of Monkey Island, I think it's absolutely critical that when fans go and play the other Monkey Island games in the franchise, they get the feeling that what they've experienced in Sea of Thieves feels authentic. From the tone of what the characters say, to the sense of place in the world, to even the way it feels to explore these locations. We need to live up to that standard. We want fans to believe what we've done feels like a part of one connected experience. Okay, there we go. That's both articles, and I'll keep it short because I know this video is getting long. I'm very concerned, not about the update, but about the future of Sea of Thieves. I'll definitely be making videos about this. Because from the sounds of it, this is a Monkey Island story. We have got so many tangents in Sea of Thieves that need wrapping up. We've gotten so many things happening with the story, and it's going to be put on pause again. It's going to be paused again. For how long? Are we just going to get flame art story in adventures? It really feels like this Monkey Island experience is more of a theme park ride, as opposed to a big chapter of the Sea of Thieves story. Whereas A Pirate's Life really moved on the Sea of Thieves story, it feels like this isn't. It really feels like that. That being said, I am reserving full judgment until I have played the tales. Because they could be extremely intertwined. We could see loads of Sea of Thieves characters and lore. They could also be hours long. I mean, imagine if each tale is three hours long, that's nine hours, compared to the one to one and a half that a pirate's life was, so it could be longer. We just don't know. We will just have to wait to play the tales, but if it is only a Monkey Island story, that's where the issues come in. However, by the looks of it, we are going to be getting some Pirates of the Caribbean content, so perhaps that could wrap up some tangents there, but I don't know. As I say, all stuff I'll be talking about over the coming weeks, but I'm extremely hyped. I'm looking forward to this update, but I am cautiously optimistic. I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see how the game feels over the next couple months and also see how big the tales are, the impact that they have. There are so many factors we just don't know. Don't get me wrong, I don't want you leaving this video thinking that it's going to be a flop. I'm so hyped about this. I love new tall tales. They are the number one thing I love in this game and I always want more of them. I'm looking forward to these beyond belief. New location, side quest mechanics, you name it. It's going to be such a great update, but we will have to see how it affects the longevity of Sea of Thieves in the future. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, that does just about wrap up this video. Let me know what you think of all this down in the comments below. Are you looking forward to the Monkey Island expansion or... Well, I don't really know how you can't be looking forward to it. It looks amazing so far. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy them, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel an absolute ton. And subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. And while you're at it, why not hit the bell as well so you never miss a single upload. But anyways, apart from all that, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.